Welcome back to another episode of Mind Games with Garen Emig. That's me, Stellar Crowd columnist, occasional podcaster. And uh, today we're going to dig into the head of uh, OSU softball coach Kenny Gajewski. The football team over in Stillwater isn't playing. Someone needs to say something interesting on the campus <laughs> in Stillwater. Usually that go-to guy is Mike Gundy. I can't think of a better substitute for Mike than, than Kenny when it comes to being being candid and, and point A to point B direct line wise. So, Kenny, thanks for filling in for the football coach. Always good to see you and always good to talk to you. Thanks for having me. It's uh, it's always good to be talking with you and um, congratulations on your new job as well. I hope to be successful at this as you have been manning the softball program at, at OSU. Oh. I'll say that. Appreciate that. Um, there's, some, there's some things I want to ask you about. The, the, the new roster being first and foremost, um, Bedlam still wafting around. That's probably gonna, going to for a while longer. Softball in general and what you've got to do to keep feeding the beast there that you, that you built in Stillwater. But um, let's let's take care of this right out of the gate, Kenny. First and foremost, I think, on the minds of OSU softball fans is what you've lost in terms of All-American pitcher Kelly Maxwell. Yep. It wasn't just that she left. It's where she went, as you pointed out, the last time I think you went public <laughs> with any remarks about a month ago. And you, you said some pretty, speaking of candid, uh, pretty direct things about about what Kelly had done. I, I'm going to ask if you either care to revisit what you said or if you care to revisit what Kelly Maxwell gave your, gave to your program while she was a cowgirl. Well, I think it's, um, I think the whole situation is probably worth talking about um, because um, emotions are real about, all, for all of us. Right. Um, um, I, I really, I really, I'm going to, I'm going to say this again. And because I like you, I'm going to let you, I'm going to tell you this for the last time. Um, I, um, I'm not mad at her. I, I'm not, I, I, I'm, I'm not mad at her. I don't dislike her. I don't want anything bad for her. I don't want any of that. Um, what I, but what I am going to, going to do is protect our program. Mm -hmm. and protect the kids that are here. And so when somebody leaves, it's already hard enough. Um, when somebody like a Kelly Maxwell well leaves, it's it's really tough. Um, and then to top it off when they go to your rival, the only team that in your mind that you feel like you're competing with, because, and that's no di disrespect to any other coach across the country, but they're in my backyard. Mm -hmm. um, they are they are the number one team in the the country and i think everybody is only thinking about we got to beat one team right and that's them so um that is where that comes from um my remarks were um were from my heart um i think it's how a lot of people feel um not a lot of pe people are willing to say what i say uh or the way i say it i understand that that's who i am i'm not going to apologize um, I think that's what draws a lot of people to me. And if it turns a few people away, I understand that. I'm not mad at them for turning away. Um, but I um, I will tell you what I will not back away from. Um, and then I can also tell you what I wish I could re-say or, or redo. And what, sure. I, what I am not going to back away from is that um, there was only one school that Kelly could go to that would somewhat tarnish her her legacy here um amongst our fans um there may be some people here that it doesn't bother i i, I can't speak for them but i can tell you that that 99.9 percent .9 of what i've gotten back was that is how they feel and um and i understand that and 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 i'm a cowboy coaching the cowgirls softball team and um i'm going to protect that so um I'm not mad that she left. Um, I understand why completely 100%. It makes sense. I can't be met, be met, met, met at that. Yeah. Um, um, I, I, um, I just know that going to, to the rival school, um, makes things really weird and really sticky. So what I, um, the one thing that I, I wish I could, could re say or take back was, when I said, as long as I'm the coach here, that sounded and sounds very selfish, very, it's about me. And I think anybody who knows me knows that's not the case. If you don't know me mm -hmm. and you're from the rival school and you just want to take shots on Twitter, then 
um, that's what's going to happen. And um, that did happen. Um, you know, I laughed that I was Twitter famous for a couple of days, probably not the kind of Twitter famous that I want to be um, yeah. and, and aspire to be. Um, you know, it gets very personal on there. Um, everything from, you know, wanting me to turn my uh, OU baseball jersey in to my championship ring to making fun of my stuttering. Like it's all there. It's just what I've endured my whole time. So I get it. Um, that is the only thing I wish I could take back because it, it was not meant to be a personal thing. Um, I was just stating, I was speaking for our alumni, um, for our fan base. Um, and, um, you know, I wish, I wish, um, it never got out there. Uh, but anytime you speak nowadays, it can be out there and mm -hmm. it did get out there. Um, and, um, again, uh, I'm not mad at her. Uh, I'm not mad at her family. Um, do I wish she was still here um, yeah. a while ago? Yeah, I do. I mean, I didn't want to lose a player like that. So it's just the way our game is going, the way our sports are going. And um, we benefited from the portal and now we got dinged and, you know, it hurts. Yeah. You talk to her at all since she left? Do you want to talk to her? Um, I have not. There hasn't been one exchange through text or phone or 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 any of that um i since since the day that she told me that she was going to leave um i haven't spoken to her or her family which kind of hurts too to be very honest um we've done a lot for each other um kelly did a lot for this program um i in turn feel like we've done a tremendous amount for kelly as well mm -hmm. um stuff that we could never talk about or, or, or would never want to quantify. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, she and her family knows we were, we've always been all in for her and that um, it just is what it is. So no, I haven't talked to her. I, I mean, I don't know what we would say at this point in time. Um, time will probably heal that some. Um, and um, I will never say, I will never talk to Kelly Maxwell. Yeah. That's, I will not, say that at all because um at some point in time i'd like to talk you know yeah. and and just make sure that she understands where i was coming from right and just and just hear it from my voice not the media or an yeah. uh, article or whatever because she knows me pretty dang good yeah well and, and now let's leave it with this i here's where, here's the thing that i what what i think bothers me kenny not it, hard feelings are what they are now and i i understand that believe me i i've 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 covered Patty since you were on campus in Norman, so I've yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm as familiar with, with Bedlam softball as anyone, and I know how how high it's ratcheted up, especially since you got things going there in Stillwater. I get all that. I also know that you were mutually beneficial. She did so much for you, you and and John Barkfeld, that her pitching coach there did so much for her that you got to think there's going to come a point where you're going to land on that. Yeah. And and she is going to come back and be at peace with everything she did for the program. How's that for a fair conclusion to the story? I think it's very fair. Um, I think it's very fair. We just did a media day here um, to start off the fall. And the question was asked. It was the last thing asked. And um, look, like time will time will heal. Um, you know, Kelly, Kelly, like like I've had explaining to do she'll have some explaining that 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 that, that she can do mm -hmm. um and and then pe people can hear that but but she's been a a a major cog in our success here along yeah. with people like kylie naomi and shy right. factor and taylor tuck and these kids that were they were part of four of these runs it's a big deal it's a big class and and so um you know we'll get past it and we'll get through it and yeah. Um, I only know one way to, to, to do things and that's head on. Um, sometimes it ruffles some, some feathers and sometimes it's okay. Yep. Um, let me ask you about, I, I just brought up John Barkfeld, the pitching coach who, who, um, has left the program uh, as well since last year. And before I ask about roster, I, let's, let's just revisit that situation with Carrie moving in and, and John leaving. How, how's that transition gone? And, and. Is that taking some? I know you know Carrie well, obviously. Yeah. She, it seems like just yesterday she was pitching for you. How 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 is that going? Just as with her in a new role. 
It's going really good. Um, you know, um, I'm I've been thrilled with what she the way she's come in um, and just been business. Um, you know, um, she was somebody that we had. Um, I had on my mind um, as a possible replacement when John eventually told me, the, you know, when when he was going to eventually say like sister say to me, hey, I'm I'm finally uh, done. Um, I was very hopeful. I mean, just be very frank. Like I was, I was somewhat, I used the the word blind. I I, I had no clue that John, you know, was going to walk away. Um, So that was kind of like a a shocker. You know what I mean? I thought he would probably, I figured in my mind um, that he would probably get through Kelly and Lexi, you know what I mean? Like finish those guys out. And then I felt like, okay, it's probably going to be coming to an end here. He's been doing it at a high level for a long yeah. time. He's obviously great at what he does. Um, but I knew we didn't have him forever. So um, uh, I was hopeful that he would be here one more, more, more year. Um, and that we could give Carrie one more year of grooming at, at Lipscomb um, and just getting her, her coaching feet under her. But Garen, as you know, in this business that we're all in, things just come to you and they happen and, and you, and you have to just go, okay, what is the best thing for me and Mm -hmm. this program period? And, um, this is the reason, this is the reason that Kelly left. I mean, we know that that's, there's no hiding that. Um, and, um, and so, um, I just wasn't willing to risk our future or, or any of that because a one player wasn't fond of one person. If that m- makes sense, I I want to be long term greedy, which means I want to get the the right person for this job for the long term. Somebody that wants to be here, that can grow with us. Um, you know, um, it didn't matter if it was a male, female, uh, age. It didn't. It was the right fit, the right person. And um, after talking with some people. Um, and going through the process, um, it was quite flat, flattering of all of the people who reached out, um, and were very interested. Um, but the right person is sitting in that chair now and I knew it pretty quick. Um, and, um, it's, uh, it's been pretty seamless. Um, I've just kind of let her be and do her thing. You know, I'm watching and paying attention, but she's so mature and, um, she cares so deeply about this program and the people here. So it's just, it's just been a really good fit. If, if bringing Carrie in meant losing Kelly, does that by proxy, it was going to be a little bit of a pressure situation for her to begin with, but does that amp it up and how it, is there, is there, is there some psychological damage control you're doing with that at all, Kenny, or is that, is she past that? No, she's strong. She knew, she knew, like, um, you know, she knew that, that Kelly would, could possibly leave if she came in. So we were, we, we, we talked through all that, a lot of talks, a lot of time. Um, and, um, it, it just, she's, she's tough. Like she's, she's, you know, she's been through, she's been through a lot at a young age. Um, and so when you go through all that and you're, and you're, um, you know, you've already had to fight and, you know, she's had to fight at Virginia Tech. She had to fight here. Mm-hmm. She had to, she has still fights in the pro league and um, she's just, she's not going to run from a challenge. I told her, I said, Hey, you understand what people are going to say. Right. And she's like, I, I, I do. She goes, but I want this job and, and I want to mm-hmm. show at you and everyone that I can do, do, do this job. I said, well, you don't have to show me, you just do what you do. Like yeah. we'll, we'll be fine. And, and we'll get th- through it all. And it's really, I mean, since about five or six weeks back, we really haven't even had any talks about okay. it. I knew it was going to be coming up here as we start fall ball and all that kind of stuff. And, and it should, I get it. It mm-hmm. deserves that. And so, um, but I am hyper-focused on helping her with the people that we do have, um, to, to just be the best her, just like I had to go th- through this with Whitney last year. And, and mm-hmm. we, we had the best offensive year we've ever had here. Um, so, um, we're on the uh, right path, even though there's some bumps and some hard days and some, some sleepless nights, it just goes with the territory. 
Yeah. You need to, man, I, Kenny, I swear coaches ought to have psych major. If they don't have psych undergrads, they need to have <laughs> you know, doctorates, right? Yeah. In counseling or psych. <laughs> well, Garrett, I, I'd say this, like the, <laughs> the least, the least, like, we you know, if you look at my roles and responsibilities, I think coaching is probably at the bottom, um, <laughs> like coaching our current kids. It's like yeah. managing, um, it's managing people and I'm not, I'm not perfect. Uh, but I've really, over the last couple of years, I've really spent a lot of time with some good people learning mm -hmm. how to be more clear, um, um, be more direct. Um, and again, I'm not perfect, yeah. but i just feel like I'm getting better at it. And I've got people around me. I want people around me who can hold me accountable to no, no matter, mm -hmm. um, how old, um, how much experience shy factor, she stands up, you know, to me every day here as good as anyone. And it's, it's awesome. And mm -hmm. I mean, it's how it ought to be. They feel empowered to have their opinions heard correctly and mm -hmm. um it's my job to li to listen and then make the best choice for yeah. what i think is best so we're still in september you've got as, as we talk here kenny you've got the first uh, batch of fall games on your schedule it feels kind of strange to ask a head softball coach when it's still summer on the calendar about next spring yeah and next season but give me give me the best the best shot you can at, at what you've got to work with coming into next spring well, I think the best thing about this question is that we're talking softball in September and, yeah. um, you know, uh, uh, it's really cool to see how far this sport has come, especially in our state. Um, and uh, um, so that being said, um, I love this team. Um, we are we are young. We are new. We are all of the above. Um, we are not experienced. Um, now we are experienced in a few good spots. So, so, so obviously in the circle, we have really good ex experience and that's where this game starts and ends. Um, so we know that. So we feel really good about that with, um, Lexi and, and Kyra back and, um, Ivy Rosenberry's got a renewed, um, self-worth about herself, I think is mm -hmm. what, I don't know if that's the right way to say that, um, but she just feels like she can really be a part of this staff. And then you add a, um, uh, a freshman Katie Coots in that mix with really good stuff. It's rounds out to be a really good staff again here, which, which we've had the last, uh, five or six years. So that's been really good. And, um, we have some really good youth. We really do, uh, with Katie Coots and, uh, Carly Godwin, um, who's going to make an immediate impact in our, our lineup and probably at the, in the middle, like I'm talking three, four, five, like this kid can hit, um, and has a demeanor about herself that, that reminds me of some of the toughest kids that I've ever coached. Um, so, um, those are two, they're going to, are, are going to, that people are going to get to know fast. Uh, Rose Davis is a, is a, a, a shortstop is a freshman, very skilled trying to catch up to the pace of play and new teammates and everything. So she's, she's kind of up and down right now. And then we've got, um, uh, Tia Warsop, um, and, uh, um, Logan Picklesheimer is a catcher, uh, Tia and then, um, uh, Taylor and Dur and Jerson are both outfielders, mm -hmm. um, that are probably two of the fastest kids, Taylor being the fastest kid I've ever coached. Um, it's crazy. We've needed that. It's the one thing I've told our staff in recruiting. We cannot recruit, um, kids that don't have speed from here on out, unless they're going to hit 25 to 30 home runs. We just have to have it. It's just too important in our game. And I don't mean like slapper fast. I mean, fast all over, you know what I mean? Like the slap mm -hmm. game is really not as crucial as what it's you know been in the past. So these kids can flat go. And so that's been great. So youth wise, yeah really strong. And then the transfer class, um, you know, we've got, uh, Jillian Poolard, uh, is going to play third, second outfield. She's going to hit the top of our order. Um, she's, uh, man, she's special and, um, having a blast here and doing some great things. Um, the former Caroline Hudson, um, she's now Caroline Wong. Um, she got married over the, the summertime. She's a transfer from, Liberty. Um, 
she's off to a really good start. She's been the, I think the two time player of the uh, year in their conference. Mm -hmm. She'll, she'll, she'll bring us great depth in the middle of our order. Um, and, um, uh, and catcher. Um, and then, you know, you bring back work, um, kill is going to hit a bunch. What Bloodworth had a, a very down offensive year for mm -hmm. what she's capable of. She hit over 300 as a freshman in, in the sec. And then last year just barely hit above 200, just really was got off to a great start, then hit a, just a nasty funk and then kind of got hot late. Um, but she's off to a great start and um, looks tremendous. So, I, I mean, I really like what we have back. You know, we've got some freshmen like a Katie Lott um, who had about 50 or 60 at bats, hit about 350, um, probably poor coaching. I didn't get her in enough um, for her performance. Uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunities, but we're going to get her a lot more. Claire Tim, um, big left-handed bats, gained – 25 to 30 pounds here in her time just and and you could never tell um just turn it into a uh a woman right before our eyes um those are two kids that are going to really really help help us out and so i really i really like what this team has mm -hmm. um i really do we have others um scotland david is healthy we'll see if she can stay healthy she's had three years of being hurt here um it's been really rough um and uh um macy graf's uh transfer from Mississippi state. That's finally starting to be a little healthy. She's been sick and then kind of banged up and kind of doing some things now. So right. I like this team. It's different than what we we've had because there's a lot of new names and new, fa new, new faces, but I can tell you we're very talented and, um, and we should be very good. Yeah. Well, with so many new faces, a coach might be hesitant to, to think too big. And yet I think, not breaking any news here, but you've reached a point where you've got a fan base that's asking not just if you're going back to OKC, right? If you're going yeah. back to the series, but how long are you going to stay? Yeah, that's. I I know you embrace that, but you also year to year have to weigh that against what's re what's realistic, what's reasonable. Where, where would where are you on that continuum? With well, this I don't think we're. I you you know me. I'm not going to change our goals. Yeah. Um, you know the the only thing that this team lacks is is experience. Like, yeah. we just don't have. You know, like last year, if you run a look at how many games we played in OKC, you know, with our with, you know, if you start adding up games, it's high. Mm -hmm. Like we had a lot of games played there. And, um, you know, we started thinking about three or four kids who who have played four years there. I mean, that's a lot of games, you know, in OKC and supers and regionals and all that, that kind of stuff. So the expectation is not going to change here. Um, you know, now we have to go out and play like that. I mean, yeah. I think there were a lot of people that when we lost 11 of 13 games said, well, this is the end and here we go. And yeah. um, nobody in this building thought that um, um, we never, we never doubted it one day. Um, we just had to get, get, get going and, and it's just the way it goes. And this game is just a test. It's a life test every mm -hmm. day. And it's what makes what, Patty's doing down at OU. It's it's what makes it crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's crazy to see the amount of pressure that those kids are under um, to feed that monster. Um, you know, uh, I would tell you that it's um, it's tough, and so um, uh, we don't quite have to feed it like they feed it. Uh, but I, I mean, you know, it's still it's there and it's real and. Mm -hmm. um, um, listen, I mean, the one thing that I can assure everyone is they'll get our best and, yeah. um, and it's, uh, we're going to get better as the season goes. We've done that each, each year. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I think that's a sign of a good coaching staff and then kids who are bought into what the coaching staff is, is, uh, is preaching and, and talking about. You feel like assuring us that there's going to be uh, OU and OSU softball after the Sooners go to the SEC. Where, where are we on that? I have no answer on that. Um, you want it. You you want it, don't you? I do. I do. Yeah. Um, I do without a doubt. I think Patty would want it. I I don't. We we haven't personally talked. So, just like you know, like like I said some some stuff a, a while back, and like um, I said, hey, I want to talk, but I haven't got anything anything back. I haven't like reached out to Patty mm -hmm. and said, hey, do you want to play? What's your feeling on this? We don't talk a lot, so it's mm -hmm. not like it's not the easiest conversation to be very honest. Um, so it's hard to um, to to do that. But we why need is to that? talk. 
I don't know. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. This has I, been, this goes back to, this doesn't just Kelly Maxwell you're talking about, right? Oh, I mean, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, they just have a lot going on. I mean, okay. I mean right. they just have a lot going on and, um, it is, it is what, what it is. This has nothing to do with the, the yeah. Kelly thing at all. We okay. just don't talk much. Um, and, uh, I don't, I don't think there's any, there's nothing bad. Um, we just, I don't know. Okay. We just don't, we just don't talk. Like, yeah. I'm not sure that Brent Venables and Mike Gundy talk a whole, a whole lot. So, um, yeah. you know I mean? It just is the way it is. So I, I, I want to play. Um, I think, um, I think it'd be great for our state. I don't know how to do it. I don't know if it makes sense. Um, you know, I think it makes sense for the people in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how Patty truly feels at this point in time. We, we probably need to have the conversation and then just kind of go from there. So, um, uh, I, I mean, I want to play them every time I can. I mean, I've never said, I've never shied away. I may have kicked our tails in the ground and stumped stomped us in the hole like i understand like i get it um but i do want to play them i want to play the best and they're the best so uh i've never shied away from playing them from wanting to play them um i think they make us a ton better and i think we we have a chance to keep making them better too Mm -hmm. um and um and so that says a lot about our program and um so we'll just see but uh hopefully we can get get that worked out okay uh let's take the edge off with a couple of exit questions and then we'll let you get on and get ready okay. for whatever whatever you have this weekend um one softball rule you'd change if you were czar of the sport what what would it be oh man <laughs> once one thing i would change um yeah we got a great game um <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Don't screw it up type thing here. Kenny? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to. We, we, the thing we do have to be hyper aware of is one of the main reasons that our game has really evolved is TV. Mm-hmm. And our games are getting longer as we go. Yes, they and are. So we have yes, got are. to be hyper aware of what ESPN is telling us. We're doing that. Um, we've added in some, uh, the pitch clock is coming. Um, in between pitches is coming. We're now allowing, um, we're now allowing like, um, the baseball type, um, um, pitch com is what one of them's called where the pitching coach has a, a deal where she can just hit a button and it tells the pitcher exactly which, which pitch on her, on her, on, on a watch. It's just one way mm-hmm. communication. So we're doing some really good things, but we've got to keep our game under two thirty. It's mm-hmm. a must, and it really yeah. needs to be in the 215 range. Um, and so um, I'm hopeful that we can keep working on that, um, you know, um, and keep pushing the the limits on um, the interactive stuff in inside games, like letting us use um, some analytical data yeah. during games. I think that would be cool as well. Okay. You referenced this earlier in the show, different context, I realize, but you did win a national baseball title with the Sooners once upon a time. Yeah. 94. Yeah. Right? 94, a long time ago. All right. We got to know this. What did you do to celebrate the night that, that you, that you uh, won the ring? Golly. You, we, uh, we threw coach, just threw, there. we threw coach Cochelle in the, in, in the pool at the hotel. I think it was the, the Ramada in, it was disgusting. Um, <laughs> it was, it was gross. And, and there was I, water in the pool, wasn't there? There was water in the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, don't know if it was blue, or not, but, but we got him in the uh, pool. Uh, I think Ricky Gutierrez is, is, is the one who threw him in. Um, but man, we just had a good time. Like we, we celebrated that um, all night long. I had an awesome parade yeah. when we got back. It was, it, 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 it was a blast and a fun yeah. Fun fact, um, my good buddy Russ Ortiz was in town uh, in OKC la- two nights back, and okay. um, uh, uh, he came up, and, and uh, he stayed overnight, and we, we stayed up late and talked, and it was great to, to catch up and brought him over here to, to the field and showed him around here, and he said, man, there's a lot of orange here. I'm like, yeah, buddy, it's really good. <laughs> so I still have a lot of great friends. I mean, yeah. the, the greatest of friends. 
Yeah, that's that's sweet. Very, very cool. All right. Best coach on the OSU campus is Oh Ooh. man. Dave Smith. <laughs> Track. All right. Wild. How about that? I like that answer. I, I mean, how that guy can do what he does here is off the charts. He is a smart. He's so smart that when he talks, I kind of like shy away. <laughs> so I don't want him to ask me any questions. <laughs> but he's he's the best coach here. Yeah. You guys still have your group text, all of you guys? Oh, yeah. Coach? Okay. That, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, I, man, I, I, I've meant to ask other programs if they do something like that. I think that's beautiful. We have, I, love- I mean, it's really cool. I mean, it's, um, it's pretty neat. Like anytime one of our, our teams plays and wins, mm-hmm. that group text is going crazy mm-hmm. for a while. We support each other here in a great yeah. way. Um, I've got some amazing friends. I don't get to see them. Like, I, that's the one thing. It's the only thing about being a, a head coach I think that's really hard is it's just really hard to to invest more time in 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 these friendships that we need uh, mm-hmm. because we're so invested all day at work and then you go home and you've got to be present at home and um, a lot of us are chasing around um, you know young kids um, yeah. and that kind of stuff and um, but there are some great great coaches here some and some better people mm-hmm well, one of them's been my guest on Mind Games this week. That's Kenny Gajewski, the OSU softball coach. Always good to catch up with him. It's pretty cool that he's now been indoctrinated in the sellout crowd. We'll have to do it again Great. at some point once they uh, get a little closer to the, the spring season. I imagine we'll be covering quite a bit of softball after we put football to bed. Um, you can catch us every week on the Sellout Crowd Network. Download, like, do whatever the young kids do on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Music. Check out my website. Uh, if you want to follow me, be a sellout crowd. That's great. All of our different content creators, writers, and podcasters have their own pages. I'm at garenemig.com. I don't have time to spell it for you. You're just going to have to sound it out and, and come close. Kenny can relate. He's he, Well, at least you got yeah. one easy name, one of your yeah, two. Yeah, you're so, right. You're anyway, right. Um, just do the work. It'll be. I'll try to make it worth your while. Thanks, Kenny. Good to have you on the show. Uh, we'll talk again soon. And hope and folks come back and see us again next week for another episode of Mind Games on the Sellout Crowd Network. Thank you.